Hey, good morning. It's Monday, uh, September 28th. Great to be with you this morning. This week, I want to talk about the battle for your mind, for your thoughts, for your desires. Colossians chapter 2, verse 8, gives us this very strong warning. See to it that no one takes you captive through the hollow and deceptive philosophies of this world, but rather depends on, these things depend upon basic human traditions. But don't be taken captive by hollow and deceptive philosophies. Now that sounds very academic, very ivory tower-ish, but we're rescued from that uh, prison of academia by the phrase, the basic traditions of this world. And this basic traditions are the things that kind of drive us. And the Bible rescues again us, rescues us again from the academic thought by using things like bread, water, to focus in on what truth of God is like. So Jesus quotes Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3, where, where we are told. Man does not live by bread alone, but on every mouth, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Father. Jesus is the water of life. He's the bread of life. Anything else moves us away, and that's where these hollowed and deceptive traditions come from, because they want us to think that something else other than Christ is the water for our life and for our hearts, and the bread for our hungry, thirsty souls. Because we are longing people. We are people with deep desires. But again, the Proverbs comes to us and says, anything you desire cannot begin to compare with the wisdom of God. And the wisdom of God is founded on these basic things of the water and bread of life, things that we can understand. We are encouraged to lie down on green pastures. We get that. We long for that, and that's what God is calling us to. So this battle for our mind that I want to talk about this week has to do with the pursuit of Jesus Christ and his thoughts. We'll be looking at Isaiah 55 again a little bit later on. God's thoughts are not our thoughts. But at the beginning of that very important chapter, Isaiah 55, we are encouraged to buy food to drink water that can't be had any place else. So this, what Paul was warning against in Colossians is don't accept anything other than the word of Christ to determine what life is worth living for. Don't spend your time and energy on things that will not produce the life that God desires. What's important in life is relationships. We are to invest in relationships, not just in earthly stuff. There's nothing wrong with investing. But the most important relationship, the most important thing you can invest in is in relationships. First, in investing, giving everything you have to your relationship with God, and then investing, giving what you have into those that God has called you to be with. It's just investing in relationships. And that is secured by pursuing God, by eating His food, being fed by His water, Otherwise, we'll be taken captive. And the things that we really long for, the things that are really important, we'll see them slipping away because we have pursued something else other than the love of God. And this is worked out in how we relate to God and to each other. And these deceptive philosophies that Paul's warning is against try and tell us that what's important is not investment in relationship with God and others, but investment in your own well-being, your own personal security. 
That's what Paul's warning us about. That's what we're going to look at this week. So pray with me, will you, that we will invest our time this week, that it will be profitable to us, so that we will not buy into the things of this world, which will pull us away from what life is about, but that we will know the true beauty, that Christ's word is the bread of life. His water refreshes our soul so that we can give to others, to God and to those close to us, that which is truly life. So pray with me this week about this because these these are important things. This is the true battle for the mind. So we'll be back tonight. Lord bless you again. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye.